Turn your PC into a powerful diagnostic workstation with the Ease PC Scan Tool version 10. This presentation is an overview of the new software features and data in version 10. Hello, my name is Stephen Galinsky and I'm the President and CEO of Ease Diagnostics. I just wanted to thank you for taking the time to check out what's new in version 10 of the Ease PC Scan Tool. Whether this is your first time investigating our scan tool or you're already a user, I'm confident you're going to be impressed with all the new features and data in version 10. This video will only focus on the new features and data we added to version 10. If you are not familiar with the many features of the Ease PC scan tool, please watch the other videos and that will provide you with an overview of the complete tool. We've added a lot, so I'm going to go through each OEM individually and discuss what we added. If you want to review all of these items, you can check out our website, obd2.com. Just click on the professional PC scan tool and right at the top you'll see a link to what's new in version 10. Okay, I just wanted to uh, you know, call your attention to something here. Since we've been selling scan tools for quite a while now, we have a lot of different versions of interfaces out there over the many generations of our software, and your vehicle interface may not support all of the features in version 10. So please check out our website or talk to one of our sales agents, and they can help you determine if your hardware is going to support all of the many new software features that we've added. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. Okay, in a high-level overview, in version 10, we've updated GM, Ford, Chrysler, Mazda, Toyota for all controllers and data through 2009 and 2010. Um, the long-awaited Ford CAN bidirectional controls are in this version. We've added Honda and Acura, all OBD2 controllers, and there's some 1994 and 95 in there that are OBD2. We updated our Hyundai, Kia, Nissan, and Infiniti scan tool databases. We've come out with a brand new uh, wireless vehicle interface, the EVI 6000, that does support everything in version 10 with a lot of expanded hardware coverage. We also have a brand new reprogramming interface with expanded coverage and features. The generic scan tool software now works with all J2534 vehicle interfaces out there. So if you happen to have a competitor's J2534 reprogramming interface and you'd like to start using our software with it, you certainly can with version 10. There's new web access code software to allow you to get access codes 24-7 right from the website whenever you need to. We've updated the look of the tool, the toolbar, and quite a bit more. We're going to go through uh, each section here and for our miscellaneous um, couple items here. You'll see that um, we've always supported generic European vehicles in the scan tool, but now we've added European OEM selections to the launcher to make that easier to separate them and launch the exact car you're looking for. The software will um, automatically install access codes from our website. We've added a new access code to unlock the Ford bidirectional CAN support. So if you had an older version, you can upgrade to just CAN bidirectional controls on Ford. We changed the look of the scan tool main toolbar with some new icons, changed the color scheme. And again, as I mentioned, we came out with a new vehicle interface and a new reprogrammer. There's the European icons that we've added, again, just to make it easier to launch. These do only support generic right now, but again, it should make it easy to get exactly to the car you're looking for. Here's the domestic and Asian scan tool launcher selections. Web access codes, you just go to www.obdcodes.com and type in your username and password. If not, you can set up an account there for your scan tools, and again, just unlock your tools and um, add or change features, whatever you need to do. The new toolbar, as you can see, we've updated all the icons on the toolbar. Um, same great functions, but with a new look. Again, started to change the look of the uh, screens in the software. You'll start to see a lot of the uh, colors and icons change in the tool, updating the look. Here's our new vehicle interface. As you can uh, see, it's uh, cabled or wireless. It supports 802.11 B&G networks. It has more power with a longer range. It supports um, ad hoc peer-to-peer -peer and infrastructure networks as well as various encryptions. The new reprogrammer, our Universal Reprogrammer 2, has um, greatly expanded OEM coverage. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it does work with the Ease Scan Tool generic OBD2, and we are releasing the enhanced protocols very shortly. It also supports competitors J2534 vehicle reprogramming interfaces. So again, if you don't have our vehicle reprogrammer and you want to run our scan tool on your J2534 interface, 
you certainly now can. It also works in the uh, 802.11 B and G networks. And I have CXXX for more info. That would be see our website, um, obd2.com, and that will certainly give you more information on the reprogrammer. We've also updated our uh, new USB scope software. The reason I put that in here because the scope software integrates with the scan tool. You can see the center screen there. You can open up the scan tool and scope simultaneously and see scan tool data along with raw scope data split screen to compare um, items. And the new scope software also has a, this really slick um, cylinder balance test. You hook up the scope software and the scope to the vehicle and gives you a cylinder balance information. And you can check out our website or check out the scope literature for more info on that. Generic OBD2. Um, every year we update all the vehicles and add new modes and features to keep the generic OBD2 up to date. Um, it, even though it's generic, it does continue to change. New items in here, aside from the vehicle list, is the, uh, there's a permanent DTC mode that we added. We changed the screen so you can enter odometer and vehicle numbers and track that per vehicle. And we've also added the ability to use, um, again, J2534 competitive vehicle interfaces as well as all of the ELM vehicle interfaces out there. So if you've got an ELM 327 series interface, whether it's serial, USB, or Bluetooth, you can now run our generic scan tool with those other vehicle interfaces. Okay, we're going to start going through some of the screens here. As you can see, uh, you know, we just added uh, 2010 vehicle selection. Again, you can track all that information per vehicle. There's the uh, European launcher items. Permanent DTC modes. Um, starting in 2010, there's a new DTC mode, and this was implemented to prevent vehicles from passing an inspection simply by disconnecting the battery or clearing DTCs with a scan tool. They're permanent DTCs, meaning they cannot be erased by a diagnostic tool or by disconnecting power. And they're erased only when three consecutive complete driving cycles with no malfunction or as specified as OBD regulations. Now that's a quick overview. Again, there's a, you know, more to it than that, but that'll give you a good idea of why we had to add these to the scan tool and they're now supported. Odometer vehicle selection. A lot of you have wanted to obviously track odometers and vehicle numbers per vehicle. Well, that's in this version and you can start doing that right away with version 10. Ability to use J2534 compliant vehicle interfaces. Again, you can see we support the DrewTech interfaces, snap-ons. I'm sure there's others out there and there's the new Ease Universal Reprogrammer 2 right there in the center as well as our existing Universal Reprogrammer for those of you who have that. And again, as I mentioned, you can use any ELM 327 interface with the generic scan tool now. Okay, for Chrysler, we've added 2009, 2010, both uh, powertrain, body, chassis, enhanced data, and DTCs. We revised the data in previous years as we got some updated and expanded our coverage. We added the bi-directional um, controls and routines in the scan tool, again, for new vehicles and revise some of the older ones. And we updated all of our sprinter data and DTCs in the tool and added the actually some body chassis on CAN vehicles for those as well. 2009-2010 vehicle selection, again, same vehicle selection you're used to seeing. Um, this is just an example of a 2010 Jeep Wrangler. Controller selection. Um, this is just an example of the controllers that happen to be on a 2009 Dodge Challenger. As you can see, it's, this is not a simple generic tool. We have complete coverage on quite a wide variety of controllers. You can see them all listed there. Here's an example of what the powertrain data would look like on a uh, 2010 Dodge minivan. Here's an example of some uh, 2009 ABS data on a uh, Chrysler vehicle, Chrysler 300 it looks like. Okay, for Ford we added quite a bit as well. We added 2009-2010 powertrain, body and chassis enhanced data and DTCs. And again, went back and revised some of the uh, older vehicles and controller coverage as well. Updated all of our bi-directional controls for 2009-2010 as well as previous years. And um, we added bi-directional controls for CAN vehicles, 2004 through 2010. Now, a lot of you have been waiting for that. That's pretty big news. We're very happy to have that in version 10. Again, that's um, CAN bi-directional controls on powertrain Ford, um, all of their CAN vehicles, 2004 through 2010. 
We also added a generic signal set on all Ford vehicles so you can access generic vehicle data easily there. Ford had a ISO 14229 protocol. We've added that across the board. We now have Ford medium speed CAN support. That's the pin 3 and 11 data in Ford. We've added new DTCs and revised the Ford DTC help with expanded coverage in the DTC help area. And we changed the way the bidirectional control screen looks. And we've also updated our reference library for Ford. So let's take a closer look at some of these. Again, here's the vehicle selection screen, what you're used to seeing, just as an example of a, a Mustang. Controller selection, this is a, on that uh, Mustang vehicle. You can see the enhanced controllers on that vehicle, what we would support, and what cable to use. Here's an example of uh, 2010 CAN bidirectional controls on a uh, particular vehicle. It looks like an escape. You can see the bidirectional controls in the upper left hand corner. You just check which one you want. And you can also view data while you're exercising those bidirectional controls on the right hand side. Here's a uh, medium speed CAN bidirectional controls as well on Ford. An example for you to take a look at. Ford Diesel. We have all the Ford Diesel in the tool for light and medium duty. This is just an example of some diesel data showing you that on the data grid. Ford DTC help. Um, we have DTC help in here direct from Ford that we receive on over 3100 DTCs and you can see it may give you alternate descriptions of the particular DTC as well as potential probable causes of that DTC. Ford reference library. We have over 3,000 pages of Ford technical data linked into the tool by year for um, gasoline, diesel, and hybrid vehicles. And again, that's a, quite a wealth of information for you to reference directly in the tool that comes with the scan tool. Okay, on GM, um, again, our GM tool supports cars, light, and medium duty trucks. We've also updated our 2009-2010 powertrain, body, and chassis enhanced data across the board, as well as updated quite a bit in the uh, previous years. Updated all of our bidirectional controls, again, for the two new years, 9 and 10, as well as quite a bit in previous years. Updated the vehicle list, as well as all the reference libraries. Okay, this is what the vehicle selection screen looks like in GM. You can see it's got full VIN support, all the VINs across the board. Um, for 1996 on up, this is a look at the 2010 VIN selections. Controller selection, this is a uh, particular light duty truck. Looks like a Duramax diesel, 2010, showing the coverage of supports that we have on that vehicle. Here's an example of 2009, looks like um, ECM engine data on a light duty truck on GM. Transmission bidirectional controls. Again, you can see the bidirectional controls at the top as well as the data grid at the bottom. You can exercise the bidirectional controls and watch the data change all at the same time. GM diesels. Uh, again, we support Duramax diesel and Allison transmissions. This is just a, a look at some of the Duramax engine data. And again, as I just mentioned, Allison Transmission. We have Allison Transmission support in the GM tool as well. GM DTC help. Um, you can see an example of the screen here. This happens to be a 2005 screen, but you can see the various DTCs as well as quite a bit of different information as to what the enabling conditions are and various information on what may have caused the problem in the vehicle. Our reference library in GM relating to this data has over 8,000 pages um, on each DTC, what it takes to trigger it, and probable causes. Okay, Honda. Honda was a big addition for version 10. We added powertrain, body and chassis enhanced data and DTCs for 1996 through 2010 and any uh, 94 and 95 OBD2 Honda vehicle. We've added all their DTC descriptions and Honda has quite a bit of extensive help that we added. You can see we have uh, help in DTC descriptions and probable causes on over 4,500 DTCs direct from Honda. And there's a lot of uh, pretty cool images in the tool to help you uh, decipher what's going on in some of those DTC descriptions and parameter help descriptions. There's over 4,000 pages of technical information also linked into the tool. So let's take a closer look at some of the screens. Um, again, same screens you're kind of used to looking at in the other OEMs. 
Uh, there's just a vehicle selection screen when you pick the, uh, looks like a 2009 Acura. Controller selection. Okay, um, as you can see, we've added support for quite a few um, Honda controllers. Um, you can see all the powertrain, body chassis data there, ABS, airbag, body, and so on. Here's an example of some canned powertrain data on the new Honda tool on an Acura. Here's an example of uh, some pre-canned data going back um, a little bit. And again, the uh, parameter sets down the side, these are direct from Honda, as Honda has their data in various data groups. Those are all supported in the Honda tool. Here's an example of some uh, ABS data in our tool and what that would look like. Here's some airbag data, again on an 09 Acura. Parameter help. Um, nearly 3,000 parameters have specific help built into the tool. You simply right click on the parameter if you're not sure what it is. Um, and we provide a description direct from Honda as to what that parameter means. Additional help on DTCs. Um, there's over, you know, close to 4,500 DTCs with a DTC, the description, a Honda DTC number, and possible failures related to that DTC. Images. There's over 300 images in the tool. I mean, some of them are pretty simplistic. Some of them actually are uh, animated graphics and drawings and diagrams that link right into the parameter help to help you out on each item. Okay, for Hyundai, we updated all of the ABS airbag body and chassis enhanced data and DTCs from 2005 through 2007 and revised some of the previous year's information. Again, a vehicle selection tool. Here's some of the uh, enhanced controllers on Hyundai. Again, you can see quite a bit of coverage there on that uh, Tucson vehicle. ABS, airbag, looks like powertrain, transmission, and so on. Here's an example of some 2007 ABS data on a Hyundai. Again, you can see uh, pretty extensive coverage. Here's a powertrain data example on one a little bit older. Okay, for Kia, uh, not a lot in Kia this version. We're working on some more right now, but for right now, we've just updated the tool um, powertrain through 2008 and updated the 2004 through 2008 ABS airbag body and chassis as well as uh, quite a few DTC descriptions for Kia. There's a vehicle selection screen for Kia. Controllers, you can see again ABS airbag, body, powertrain, tire pressure monitors and so on on the Kia vehicles. Here's an example of some transmission data um, for Kia. Airbag data on Kia Okay, for Mazda, very similar to Ford, updated all the powertrain, body, chassis, um, DTCs for 2009, 2010, revised some of the older information, and added bi-directional controls for um, CAN 2004 through 2010, as well as some non-CAN vehicles, just nine in 2009, 2010. Uh, updated the vehicle list, of course, for the uh, newer vehicles, and again, added generic support so you can easily access that, as well as the same protocols we did to Ford, the ISO 14229 and medium can support. Uh, again, what that means instead of getting stuck on protocols is that we have a lot more controller coverage um, on these vehicles. And again, in Mazda, we revised the bi-directional control screen layout. Vehicle selection for Mazda, controller, selection excuse me that is not a controller selection screen um, but again it's very similar to Ford again check out our website I'll put an updated screen out there for you here's an example of uh, some hybrid data on a Mazda Tribute 2009 DTC help again it's very similar to Ford you can see the same types of screens um, DTC with probable causes linked into the tool Here's an example of just, again, some uh, various ISO data. You can see quite a few new parameters in here on this particular controller. Okay, for Nissan, we added powertrain enhanced data and DTCs for 2009 on the CAN and DDL2 protocols. And then we went back and updated quite a bit of the ABS airbag data and DTCs for 2000 through 2009. Uh, we added um, body data through 2009 as well as updated some of the, DT the DTC descriptions. There's the uh, vehicle selection screen. 
Again, you can see the uh, type of information and track all the information on there. Here's a controller selection for Nissan on this particular vehicle. Again, you can see ABS airbag, body, engine, some powertrain, oh, that's generic, um, and so on. An example of what some powertrain data would look like on an Infiniti vehicle. Here's a 2009 body data example. Here's a transmission data example on Nissan. Okay, for a Toyota, again, um, updated the tool for 2009, 2010 powertrain, body, chassis data, as well as all the bi-directional controls for 2009, 2010, as well as going back through previous years and updating um, any of the missing data that might have been there and additional information we get from Toyota on older vehicles. Vehicle selection for this uh, 2010 Toyota Camry. Controller selection, you can see quite a few controllers supported on the Toyota tool. An example of some powertrain data on a, looks like a new Lexus. Here's an ABS data example. Hybrid data supported in the tool. Okay, wow. I know that was a, a lot to absorb, but I want to make sure you got a quick overview of some of the powerful software features of the Ease Scan tool and a lot of the really neat features that we added to version 10. Now, this is the biggest update we've had in quite a while. But I'm sure you have some questions after this. You can go back and uh, again watch this video again, of of course, and some of the other videos on that I have out there on the scan tool and some of our other products you can certainly always call us at our toll-free number listed there go to the website there's um, links in there to contact us directly via the website or send us an email okay after all that um, again this is a pretty exciting update for us and you know I'm confident that the East PC scan tool is packed with a lot of the features that are going to increase your productivity and allow you to fix cars faster more accurately the first time Again, uh, check out our website, give us a call, looking forward to your order, and continuing to work with you, and I'd like to welcome all the uh, new customers that decide to hop on board with version 10 here. The scan tool will just continue to get better and better. We've got a lot of exciting things coming up in the near future here. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you soon.